A Louisville woman has been diagnosed with West Nile virus, and she's the first person in the city of this season. But her diagnosis didn't come for a while, and in the meantime, she questioned what she had and when she'd get better. Jesse Cohen has her story. One way to prevent West Nile is with bug spray. And tonight, one Louisville woman is asking us to share her story to encourage you all to use that bug spray and spray yourselves and those around you. Three weeks of suffering. I felt like I was absolutely falling apart. That was the reality for Ann Robinson Burks as her symptoms varied between extremely high fevers, brutal fatigue, and a spotty rash. I had to be on antibiotics for 24 hours, so they did that. The rash didn't go away. They put me on steroids. The rash didn't go away. Uh, was still feeling just terrible. And her unusual symptoms didn't help doctors figure out the diagnosis, especially the spots covering her body. All the five doctors that I saw had never seen anything like it before in their lives. So answers didn't surface until Ann had a gut feeling. I said, do you all mind doing a West Nile test because I live in that area code? That's what it was, West Nile. Something she says she must have gotten from a mosquito but doesn't even remember getting bit. Actually, it was a relief because I was, I was thinking cancer, leukemia. And while this is not a disease, it's a virus. Ann says she doesn't want anyone to suffer like she has. We have a lot of elderly, a lot of children. And I want them to know that going out is, it can be dangerous. That's because there's no telling how long symptoms can last or if they will resurface. And they keep cropping up in little places like I just started with this one yesterday. And nothing can cure you. The virus needs to run its course. The aches were so deep. It's like to the bone. It's, it's so hard. to. It's like the flu times 10. So if you're feeling any of those symptoms, she encourages you to get to the doctor right away. The city is also doing their part by fogging certain areas, which was actually done just last week. For a full list of those or how you can ask to get your neighborhood fogged, visit our WHAS 11 app or our website and click on this story. I'm Jesse Cohen, 11 at 11.